Hello, Helen. Thank you for coming all this way. I really appreciate the support. I'm sure that Granny would have been happy that you came to her funeral. Oh, don't mention that at all. Of course I had to attend the funeral of my husband's grandmother. Thank you for saying that, even if you came because you felt obligated. I don't think Tyler would have come on his own if you hadn't persuaded him. I'm really grateful that you brought him. It's been so long since the whole family has gotten together. That might be exaggerating it a bit. I think Tyler would have tried to come on his own. I want to believe you. Maybe a part of him still cares for this family. But he hasn't shown his face around here in years. Even when I try to contact him, email, text, and even phone calls, he never responds. We used to be really close, but I guess we just drifted apart with age. After we got married, we had to move out of state because of Tyler's job. After moving, we just lost all track of time and never had the opportunity to visit. Sorry for losing contact. We didn't plan for that to happen. It's fine now. I completely understand that you have been busy and life has gotten in the way. I'm glad that I was able to see you after all this time and that everyone is well. Don't worry. Thank you. We're doing our best to live our lives. I know that Tyler hates coming home in the first place. That's why he never comes, right? He hasn't even bothered trying. So it really isn't something that you need to apologize for, Helen. You always worry about your brother. Thank you so much for not giving up on him. Like I said, it's fine. Anyway, how is Molly? You didn't bring her with you this time. We thought the commute would be too long for her and that she wouldn't be able to behave herself during the funeral. So I left her with my parents. Why do you ask? No reason. I wanted my wife to meet her, that's all. The last time we saw Molly was when she was still a newborn. She's around five now, right? Yeah, she turned five this year. If you want, I could send you a picture of her later. If you can do that, that would be great. My wife kept saying how she wants to see Molly. A picture would stop her from asking me all the time. No problem. I'll send a picture soon. Also, please extend my apologies to your wife. I want her to meet my daughter one day, too. Thank you. There is also something that I'm curious about. Well, it's really just a hunch. I'm not even sure if I should be saying this. But things don't seem to be going well for you and Tyler. Huh? Why would you think that? The way you act around each other made me think that. You act really distant, almost cold with each other. I know that it really isn't my place to say this. I don't want to stick my nose in your business, but it piqued my interest. Did we seem that distant? Well, it just came off like that to me. I could tell something was not right. If I'm mistaken, then I'm sorry. It could just be that it has been a very long time since we last saw each other. Sorry for saying this out of the blue. I'm just running my mouth here. Just forget what I said. No, no. Actually, you're right. Lately, things haven't been going well for us. Oh, I guess my hunch was right. Well, I don't think I'm really in the position to say this, but... You can talk to me about anything. I'm a good listener. If you want, I could also offer some advice. If there's anything that I can do for you, I will definitely try to do it. Oh, I don't want to bother you with our problems. I assume that Tyler has been the one that has been causing the problems. He is my younger brother, so I want to help. If you don't want to say, then you don't have to. I don't want to force you to talk, but do know that I am here for you. You wouldn't be doing that. I have wanted to talk to someone about it for some time now. So, the timing might be perfect. Really? If you don't mind, we can talk about it now. I've got some time. Well, I don't really have anything specific in mind at this moment. But, ever since Molly was born, Tyler's attitude has changed. He's gotten... Actually, before I get into that, maybe more background information would be helpful. When Molly was still small, I felt that his attitude was changing bit by bit and not in a good way. I thought maybe it was just a phase, but he hasn't gone back to the way he was. Well, he never liked children from the start. I thought he might be different if it was his own child. Does he take care of her? Oh gosh, it feels like I'm ratting him out, but not really. He doesn't pull his weight. Even on his days off, I'm the one that watches over her. But other than child-rearing, he's been a good husband to me. Molly is already five, right? She's going to be sensing and picking up a lot of things. I'm worried about her, too, to have such an absent father. When Molly grows up and remembers how her dad treated her, I'm scared that she will resent him. That's obviously not what I want. I want them to have a good relationship. 
Children are really sensitive to the love they get or don't get from their parents. You've talked about this to Tyler, right? What did he say about it? He makes excuses, like he would say that he's busy with work or that he's too tired to help, and that raising children is the mother's job. He doesn't feel responsible at all. It's like I'm the only adult in our family. He's acting like a child himself. This might seem silly, but he might be thinking that Molly has taken you away from him. Since you spend more of your time taking care of her, he might be the one resenting Molly right now. Do you think so? That could be it. Could be. You know what? I'll try and get something out of him. To be honest, I don't expect him to change or even to talk to me. But it might be worth trying, even if nothing comes from it. You don't have to do that. I don't want to take more time than I already have. You must be busy yourself. This really is a problem between us, and I don't want to drag you into it. It's no bother at all. I'll just be sending a text. That's all. Just a simple one. It won't take a long time for me to write and send it. Really, it isn't a bother. It won't even be worth mentioning. Besides, we are family. Okay, if you insist. Thank you. Sorry, but could you do me this one favor? Could you not tell him that you heard this from me? I don't want our relationship to get any worse than it is. He might start hating me if he found out. Understood. That is something that I want to avoid too. That would be counterproductive. I'll be discreet about it. Thank you so much. Like I said, I don't think he will respond. He has that history. So, don't anticipate too much. Hey man, it was good to see you the other day. Call me up whenever you have the time, even if it's just a few minutes. I want to talk to you about you and Helen. You want to talk about my wife and I? Did we cause any problems for you? Oh my goodness! Is it really you, Tyler? Huh? What are you going on about? You're the one that messaged me first. Sorry about that. I honestly didn't think he would respond to me. I'm just a little surprised. Oh, really? What did you want to say about us? About that. Don't get mad, okay? It's just that. At Granny's funeral the other day, I saw that the two of you were acting really distant to each other. So, I was wondering if anything happened between you two. Even if something did happen, what is it to you? It's not your problem. Don't say that. Even though we haven't seen or talked to each other in a long time, we're still brothers. I'm worried about you, man. I want what's best for you and your family. Don't smother me with your feelings, dude. I'm not a child anymore, so stop treating me like one. You don't have to worry about me. That might be true, but I can't help it. You never liked children, right? But now you have a daughter. Is there anything you want to talk about in regards to Molly? I'll end an ear. There's no need for you to stick your nose into my business. It's already been five years since Molly was born. I can't and I don't hate her. Oh, really? I thought having a child was the problem for you and Helen. Then why are you and Helen so cold towards each other? What's wrong? Look, John. Even though we are brothers, this is too much. Don't talk to me about my relationship with my wife. Yeah, you're right. It's not my place to do so. Sorry that I asked. I guess I just got carried away. It's just been so long since the last time I saw you. It's good that you understand that. I have my own way of thinking, too. It's not something that you need to get involved in. True. Sorry. Is that all you wanted to talk about? I'm a busy man. I have something I need to do now. Sorry for taking your time. But I just want you to know, if you have any problem, no matter how small, you can consult me about it. Consult you? You're not really the type of person to do that. Of course I am. How long do you think it has been since the last time we talked? It would mean so much to me if I could help you with something that's troubling you. That would be nice. I am your older brother, you know. I have more years on you in life and in relationships. I think I can help you. It's so like you to try to be helpful. You always run around trying to solve people's problems. Fine. If I have time, we can talk more than before. I would really like that. That would make me very happy. I just want you to know that I'm saying all of this because I care about you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have to go now.
Tyler, what's happening? Huh? What are you talking about? I told you already. There's nothing that you need to worry about. It's not about that right now. Your child is alone outside. What are you thinking? Huh? My kid? Outside? What are you talking about? That's impossible. I have no idea what's going on. I'm talking about your daughter. How can you not know? Stop acting dumb. Molly, I really don't know what you're talking about. Just explain to me what is happening. Just now, my wife found Polly wandering in the fields outside our parents' house. What? Are you being serious? Why would this be a joke? I'd be pretty cruel to joke about this. What are you thinking? I'm living separately from my wife and Molly right now. Huh? What do you mean? I didn't hear anything about that. I didn't want you to worry, so I didn't tell you. Let's not talk about that. What about Molly in the field? You're being 100% serious? Yeah, I am. We're keeping Molly in the house right now. It seems like she was alone out there for a really long time. Is she okay? Is she hurt? Tell me she's not hurt. She has a few cuts and bruises. We checked her over, so you don't have to worry about her. But, ma'am, do you really not know what's going on? I already said that we don't live together. I see Molly regularly, though. But Helen is the one that takes care of her. Then where is Helen? What's going on? I guess she wanted time with her friend. Time with her friend? What do you mean? What does that have to do with Molly? That's the reason we don't live together anymore. Helen cheated on me. She did? Are you serious? Yeah. She had the affair when I was away on a business trip. When I talked to Helen, she didn't say anything about that at all. She was making it sound like it was your fault that the relationship was failing. I guess she saw that you noticed something wrong with our relationship. Rather than admitting she was at fault, she made up lies. She does that a lot. She's good at keeping up appearances. Oh, man. But even so, why would she leave Molly in a field by herself? Doesn't she feel bad as a parent? She's being so irresponsible. I already said... She wanted to spend time with her boyfriend. She doesn't really care about Molly at all. I bet she finds parenting annoying. To the point where she would choose another man over her own daughter? I can't believe that she calls herself a mother. That is definitely not something a mother does, or any parent for that matter. It's not that surprising to me. What a parent should do means nothing to her. All she cares about is getting child support. She doesn't care about Molly at all. And you're fine with all this? As the father, you're okay to let that woman have custody of your child. Aren't you embarrassed? Of course I'm not okay with it. Who in their right mind would be? I want to live with Molly. But even after talking about it a hundred times, Helen won't let Molly go. Then you should do something about it. You need to do everything in your power to persuade Helen. Do whatever it takes to protect Molly. I know that. That's why I thought about just taking Molly from her after Granny's funeral. As you already know, Helen didn't bring Molly. That was your one and only plan. If you did that, it would make you look bad in the courts. You should think of something better. What else can I do? I don't want to just leave Molly with that woman. You have children of your own. You understand the situation that I'm in and how I feel, don't you? I'm sorry, ma'am. I shouldn't have come at you like that. I said all that without considering your feelings. It's fine. It's not like any of this is your fault. This is all Helen's doing. She's the cause of everything. I never would have imagined that she could leave Molly alone like that in the fields. I'm so angry that my blood is boiling. We're on the same page on that for sure. Luckily, we spotted Molly and that we are taking care of her now. We need to be thankful of that. Anything could have happened to her out there. Yeah, I'm really thankful for that. I can't thank you enough. I can never forgive that woman for what she did. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but can you keep Molly for a little longer? What are you going to do? I'm going to call that woman out for what she did and we're going to exchange a few words. If she is with the person she is cheating with, then the three of us will have a real good chat. That won't do. Before you do anything else, come back to our parents' house first. We will set up a plan. I'm not just going to let you meet with her. Don't contact her in any way right now all by yourself. Why are you stopping me? What if something had happened to Molly? It would be all her fault. You said we are on the same page. You wouldn't be able to forgive her either, right? Are you telling me to just let it go? 
That's not what I'm saying. It's just that even if you were to act now, I don't think anything would come of it. It's important to calculate your next move. What the hell are you saying? I'm Molly's father. I have a right to be angry right now. I'm doing what is best for her. Okay, then let me ask you this. Could you act calmly if you saw Helen or that man she is with? Of course I wouldn't be able to. I don't even think that is physically possible. Right. If you resort to violence, you'll be the one to be arrested and she'll win. What's going to happen to Molly then? You can't take care of her from jail. Have you thought that far? Sorry. I wasn't thinking straight. No, I completely understand. If it was my child that was in the same situation as Molly, I don't think I would be able to hold anything back. What should I do then? There's no way I can just leave things as they are now. I have a plan. Here's what we'll do. I'll contact Helen tomorrow. First, I'll listen to what she has to say and see what excuses she'll use. Why wait? Why tomorrow? If she really had any ill intent for Molly, and she deliberately left Molly on her own, then it will make things easier for us in the future. In other words, if she doesn't try to find Molly, it'll prove she did it all intentionally. Fine. Even if she says she didn't mean it, I'm not going to accept any excuses anymore. There's no denying that she left Molly on her own. Molly said that she was having a picnic with her mom when we found her. Molly doesn't realize that she was being abandoned. Helen could say the same thing, that it was just a picnic and we wouldn't be able to prove otherwise. This is frustrating. What can we do? We'll wait it out. For today only, let her contact us. If she hasn't contacted the police and reported Molly missing, then we will know for sure that she planned this, that she left Molly alone on purpose. She won't be able to make any excuses. I see. Okay. I'll do exactly what you say. I'm glad you can see where I'm going with this. For now, just come here. You want to see Molly right now, don't you? No doubt about that. I'm on my way. Helen, we found Molly in the fields near our parents' house. What happened? What? You did? Why was she there? But before that, is Molly okay? Luckily, my wife found her before anything could happen. She hasn't been injured or anything. She seems to be doing well. Oh, thank God. Molly disappeared yesterday. I couldn't find her anywhere. I was looking for her all day. Thank you so much for finding her. Even though you were the one that left her there? Now you're saying you were looking for her. How fitting for you. Are you trying to say that I abandoned Molly by herself? Why would I do something like that? I could never do that. Don't try to paint me in some horrible light. Okay, then I'm going to ask. You're living separately from Tyler now, aren't you? You're the one that's taking care of Molly. Something isn't adding up to me. You didn't bring this up when I asked you about it, and now all of a sudden your daughter goes missing and you don't reach out to anyone? You heard about our living arrangements from Tyler? From the way you're talking to me, it would seem that you heard about other things, too. I heard that you cheated on Tyler while he was away on a business trip. And that's the reason that you're living in different places now. I also heard that you two are fighting over who takes Molly. That's my understanding so far. As I thought... Fine, I admit to the cheating. I take responsibility for separating us. I don't have any intentions of denying all that. I see. The truth finally comes out. This is very different from the first time we talked. You were singing a completely different tune then. I'm sorry if you think I lied to you. Although I don't think lying and not disclosing the details is the same thing. Tyler was the one that didn't want anyone to know the truth. So I hit the fact that we were living separately. Even if we put that fact aside, the way you were talking was still completely different. Anyway, we need to focus on something else. You left Molly alone by herself in the fields. About that. You might not believe me, but I didn't intend to do that. Are you being serious? If you keep digging deeper in your lie, it's just going to hurt you more later on. I'm not lying. This is all Tyler's doing. He wants to take her from me. He was the one that orchestrated this. It has to be him. But why would he do that? Tyler wants custody of Molly, right? I don't think he would want to put Molly in any danger. That's contradictory. Even if you asked me about Tyler, I wouldn't know that answer. I don't know what he's thinking. But who else would do something like this? There is no one else. Let's say that it really was Tyler. Why did you not do anything about Molly when you knew she was missing? 
Your five-year-old was gone. For a long time, too. It's not a situation that a mother should stay quiet about. I was looking for her, but I couldn't find her. We found her yesterday, though. She was missing for a day already. You didn't contact the police or Tyler, did you? Why didn't you? If I asked Tyler, he wouldn't have told me anything anyway. I knew that, so I saw no point in contacting him. What about the police? You could have filed a missing persons report. I didn't think that she was missing for real, or that she would be gone for this long. If I went to the police, things would be blown out of proportion. I thought she was close by, and that I would find her soon. Plus, don't you need to wait more than 24 hours to file a missing persons report? She's only five. And no, you don't have to wait that long to report anyone missing, especially a child. I wouldn't be able to stay that calm at all. But I'm sure you weren't worried about your daughter's safety at all. You were more occupied with something else, weren't you? Say, your time with your lover? I don't need to explain myself to you. What are you going on about? You already decided that I'm guilty about this. This isn't a talk, this is an interrogation. If you don't want this to go on, then I suggest you take responsibility for your actions. What you've been saying until now hasn't been adding up. It would be impossible not to suspect you of wrongdoing. You're just covering for your younger brother. Talking to you is futile. Covering for Tyler? What gives you the right to say that? You're trying to hide what Tyler did. And trying to make me appear to be the bad person in all this. Even though this is all Tyler's fault. You can't believe everything that he says. I can't believe what you say either. I guess we're both not worthy of each other's trust. I agree that talking to each other is futile. Great. Then there's nothing else to talk about. I need to go and pick up Molly. Let me ask you one last question. You can come get Molly after you answer me this. Or you can do whatever else you want. Fine. What is it? Like I said, you keep blaming everything on Tyler. Do you want to change your stance? I'll give you one last opportunity to be transparent with me. There's no other way of explaining it. I'm not lying. You're the one accusing me of all this. Yeah, because the way things look, you abandon your little daughter so you could keep up your affair. Do you even have any proof at all? Not yet, but I have a feeling it won't be much longer until I do. Say whatever you want, but all this has been so sad. I can't believe how things ended up like this. That makes you the liar! John, I'm almost there. Please get Molly ready and bring her out. I want to bring her home as soon as possible. Oh, and on top of that? I want you to apologize to me. You owe me one big time. This isn't John. I'm not going to give Molly to you, and don't bother waiting for an apology from anyone. What? Then who am I talking to? Tyler? Is that you? What are you doing there? What do you mean, what am I doing here? This is my parents' house. They have every reason to be here. I don't need to explain that to you. Ugh, you and your temper. That's not what I meant, stupid. I meant, why are you there before me? Are you planning on stealing Molly? Are you kidnapping her? How dare you use that word. I'm not kidnapping my own child. You want the money more than you want Molly. You can't say that so casually. Thanks to your loose lips to your brother. I've been having a hard time, I'll have you know. It is thanks to my loose lips that I can save Molly from you. If you really cared about your daughter, you should be thankful instead. But no one is going to believe you're acting now. What is up with you? Do you have any proof that I left her in the field? It's just your word against mine. How dare you talk to me with that attitude? Oh, but I do have proof now. Huh? But John said he didn't have any proof earlier. He didn't have anything before, and I don't think you have anything now. Don't lie. I said now. I have proof now. We were able to gather evidence. We had cooperation from your boyfriend. Why did you involve my boyfriend in this? I don't understand. But how are you able to do that? You forget. He was a friend of mine first. I still know how to contact him. But even if I didn't find his number, it wouldn't have been a problem at all. We still know the same people. Ugh. He doesn't know anything about this at all. Why did you ask him? What could he possibly tell you? He has no information to offer. He's living with you now, isn't he? So I asked him when did Molly disappear. He said that Molly wasn't with you when you came home that day. He thought that you would drop Molly at your parents. Why did he answer your questions? He's cheating with his friend's wife. 
It's not normal for someone to be doing that. Persuading him to talk was easy. I told him that if he wasn't careful, he could be charged with accessory to a crime. As soon as I told him that, he was willing to talk. And boy, did he sing. He doesn't want to be involved in your crimes. So you threatened him. You're ruining your own case. That isn't admissible in court. That's what I thought you would say. That's why I also had him send over the data from your dash cam. Lucky for us, the camera caught everything. Even on camera, you can tell how fast you were going and the sharp turn you made to turn into that field. And how you left Molly there. It was all so hard for me to watch through. But I did it. I watched every single second of it. You're wrong! That wasn't my intention. I had planned to get her the night of. You lied to your own little daughter about going on a picnic. What other intentions could you have? No matter how you slice it, what you did was a crime. An unforgivable, sick crime. Well, things haven't been going smoothly for my boyfriend and I. So I wanted time alone with him to make things better. I just needed a bit of time. I was going to go back and get her before anything could happen to her. Before anything could happen? Are you being serious? Of course I am. I wasn't planning on letting her stay there forever. Do you have any idea about the state she was in when John's wife found her? She was catatonic. She was staring off into space and would barely respond to anyone talking to her. She was severely damaged and it's all because of you. You're blowing it out of proportion. She was probably just crying. Crying is nothing. Nothing happened to her. She was abandoned by her mother. She felt lonely and scared. You call that nothing? I know it wasn't right to do this to her. But if I didn't patch things up with my boyfriend, Molly wouldn't be happy either because the three of us live together. Being left alone outside is fine. My parents did that to me all the time when I was being bad. It's nothing to worry about. I've had enough. I'm getting a headache from talking to you. Then stop getting in my way and give me Molly. I'm almost there. You better hand Molly over to me. I'm taking her home with me no matter what. There's no way I can just hand her over. Anyway, whether you come here or go home, you're going to suffer the same fate. I'm not letting Molly go with you. Huh? What are you saying? I told the police what you did. I even gave them all the evidence. The police are waiting for you here as well. If you don't come here, they'll show up at your house. You'll be going with them. Police? No way! I'm not going with them! I don't want to be arrested! Molly didn't want to be left alone either. But you lied to her. And to my brother. And to me. This is what you get for doing that. Just accept your fate. But I don't want to! Come on! You've got to help me out here! I don't care what you want. I'm not helping you. Now it's your turn to be the one who gets abandoned. I heard everything from Tyler. Helen never showed up to our parents' house. She decided to run from the police instead. It didn't take long for the cops to show up at her place. She was arrested on the spot. She wasn't able to apologize to Molly or even see her again. Not surprisingly, Tyler got a divorce from Helen as well as sole custody of Molly. Of course, the divorce judge ruled in Tyler's favor, and he was able to name and receive all his conditions on top of punitive damages from the cheating. Tyler transferred to a job that is closer to our parents' house and lives there with Molly. At first, Molly wasn't used to living without her mother, but she is fine now. Tyler and Molly are living together peacefully with our parents. Sometimes I bring my family to see them. Above all, Molly seems to be a lot happier now than when she was with Helen. Tyler is really happy about that. 